Welcome back to In Toronto. The DK Photo Group is comprised of five photographers who go into unsafe and abandoned places in Toronto to capture their eerie images. And to give us a better glimpse, please welcome photographers Russell, Lauren, and Steve. Hello, gentlemen. Hello. Hello. Thanks for being here. So, you are very daring, all three of you, three of the five. You guys venture off into these forbidden places in Toronto to get these images. Well, they're not only in Toronto. We, we go through upstate New York and uh, Michigan uh, as well. So there, there's a lot. A lot of places a, a lot of that places yeah. people yeah. probably yeah. won't go into, but yes. you guys do. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. tend, to be, tend to be a lot more in, uh, in New York State just because of the, the economy seems to be dying there and a lot more available places to go. So. so why did you guys decide to do this? Why venture off into these places that are off limits to a lot of the public? I think we all come to it from different uh, different backgrounds. You know, I'm a sociologist and I look at it from a social angle and and I studied architecture so you know I'm, I'm looking at the building itself and uh, that sort of thing. And so it's interesting to, to see that connection and these two guys have you know, similar interests, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the connection to history, the seeing uh, the old machinery, the way things used to be done, um, and, and little details like the way workers used to interact with their environment. And well, I think we actually have some images of, of Russell's pictures. Uh, I think that we're going to be showing some of them right now, or we're about to show some of them right now, and I guess you can, there, yeah. there it is. Yeah, that was at, um, uh, in Rochester at uh, Mount Hope Cemetery. It's a funeral chapel. It's a funeral chapel, and it's, uh, where the body is placed and it goes up to the chapel. So it's quite, uh, I tend to focus on the light and to look at how light comes into the building and the drama it, per it has. And this one is of? That too is, uh, that is just outside of Rochester in an old abandoned high school. So um, it's, it's completely abandoned, derelict, uh, one of the artifacts in there. Is it ever scary to go into these places? Like it can be, yeah. it can be. That too is the, the, the high school. There, there are uh, elements of risk. Uh, you have to watch where you, stu you step. You know, sometimes there's they're inhabited. I'm sorry. There's always the uncertainty of, of stepping into a place that no one's been before, no one's been in about 30 years, not knowing what to expect, not knowing the condition, not knowing what you're going to see. Yeah. Any stories of danger? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm sure they have been. Yes, we, we have uh, had a couple of people go through floors. Uh, not all the way, luck luckily. Um, <laughs> they've been look, pulled out quite easily. Um, I don't think we've ever run into any homeless people or anything terribly frightening. There's just been some areas where you just want to watch where you step. And <laughs> yeah, be careful. Thing. I think we actually have some of your pictures as well that we're going to show up in just a couple seconds. There it is. <laughs> Is that yours? Yeah, yeah, that's, uh... Do you remember? Barber Mill, yeah, that's, no, that's the old Barber Mill in uh, Georgetown, which actually is being converted into some sort of commercial type uh, venture. I'm not sure those exact details. And, and it, how long does that take to go in and get those images? Does it take that, to... That was an easy one. I, yeah. mean, that, I mean, it's pretty much just open to the elements. It's the ruins of an old mill. There's mm -hmm. not uh, a whole lot really there to see besides some, some walls and a few bits of machinery. And do you have to get permission to go into these places? Depends on the place. I mean, some yes, some no. Um, a lot of them are just totally abandoned. I mean, there's no one to ask permission, you know, if you, even if you wanted to. Um, there's no walls, no windows, no doors. I mean, yeah. <laughs> and there are some that you do. I mean, there's a number that you, we've asked to be able to go in. We have plans, I think, for a few this year. Mm -hmm. But they're very interesting places, and the only way to get in is going to be through permission. A lot of people ask us, how do we get in? And it's usually through the front door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> not through the window. Or well, no, sometimes. Yeah, no, sometimes. Cases, yeah. So you're, are you guys wearing hard hats at the time? Yeah. No. What are you no. Oh, yeah, no. Right. Steel toe boots and gloves. That's usually the extent yeah. of it. Yeah. Yeah. We do have flashlights. Res respirators, respirators for some of the, you know, for asbestos yeah. or lead paint or that sort of thing. I mean, mm -hmm. you want to be careful. Mm -hmm. Well, we have some more pictures to show of Steve. Steve's pictures. We're going to be showing them right now. Put them up. <laughs> yeah, there they are. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a, that's a barber mill again. Uh, it's a little paper mill, and those hoppers would have held the, the, the pulp um, before it was processed. Uh, that's an old uh, office building in Hamilton. It's a radiator that's uh, fallen from its mounting. <laughs> and you guys actually have an exhibit uh, happening right now. It's on we do. We do. It's at yeah. Art 101, um, which is in the Upcountry store on, Queen St on King Street, 310 King Street. 
And it's on till June thirtieth. June thirtieth. Mm. We just got an extension and actually an extra yeah. space to nice. hang in. So. Yeah. And we're also most of us are also showing at the Riverdale Art Walk on June second and third. So. Yes, Queen Street East, uh, Jimmy Simpson Park. And I think all of us are in the Toronto Outdoor Art Exhibition at 8th Phillips Square the first weekend in July. So we're You can catch your stuff at a lot of places. A lot of places. Mm -hmm. yeah. One thing though that I want to ask is that there's a lot of people like embedded journalists who go to these danger zones. What compels you to go into a place just to capture an image when you're putting yourself in danger? It's the idea of seeing something that not too many people see. Uh, not too many people can uh, appreciate the beauty that that's seen in these places, and certainly not too many people are willing to go in yes. to, <laughs> yeah, to seek it out. Exactly. So we try we try to bring it out. For well, and it's, it's and we we don't. I don't know about you, but I don't consider the danger going in there. I can more, no. I consider more the image that we're well, going to be yeah. getting. Well, I think we're fairly used to it at this point. It doesn't seem dangerous anymore. We're just we've done it a number of times, and I mean a lot of it is it's, you're looking for a different sort of subject matter, and this is a subject matter you don't find everywhere. Very interesting. Thank you so much, Russell, Stephen, Lauren. Thank you, Thank you Thank so you. much. If you want further information, this art, the, the pictures that you just saw, is on display at Art 101 Gallery at 310 King Street East. And for further information, check out www.dkphotogroup.com. Anyways, that's it for our show today. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you tomorrow.